with breaking news. Well, the two day manhunt has ended in New Mexico following the deadly shooting of a police officer and the disappearance of a PD paramedic found dead. Thanks for joining us for your news at six. I'm Ian Klein. 32 year old Jeremy Smith of Marion was taken into custody this morning after he was spotted at a gas station in Albuquerque. Deputies located Smith where they pursued him on foot, ending in an officer involved shooting. Smith is now being treated for his injuries and we're told no officers were hurt in the capture of Smith. He has been tied to the disappearance of a Florence County paramedic. According to the Marion County Sheriff's Office, Phoenicia Machado four last seen on Tuesday at her home at Wildwood Loop in Marion before her body was found in Lakeview near Dillon County on Friday evening. We're told an autopsy for her is scheduled for tomorrow. The Marion County Sheriff's Office saying Smith is a person of interest in her death. Her car was located in New Mexico State near on Friday and sent at the scene of the investigation involving the death of a New Mexico State Police Officer Justin Hare, who was dispatched to help Smith with a flat tire along Interstate 40. Police say that he shot Hare before driving away in that patrol unit, abandoning the vehicle a short time later. New Mexico State Police Chief Tony Weisler saying today justice prevails. Yesterday we said that we would bring Jeremy Smith to justice. That there was nowhere that he could run and that there was nowhere he could hide. And while our work is not done here, this now gives us the opportunity to take the time to start grieving the loss of our officer. Chief Weisler said Hare even offered to give Smith a ride into town before shooting him. Hare was later found in the passenger seat of that stolen police unit and was taken to the hospital where he later died. We're told he was a native of New Mexico, leaving behind parents, a girlfriend, and two small children. Well, Smith does have a criminal history here in or here in Marion County. Excuse me. Records show that he escaped from prison in 2014 after beating two detention officers. He was eventually captured, pleading guilty to charges related to that escape. He also has charges dating back to 2013 for discharging a firearm into a vehicle, armed robbery, and second-degree burglary.